a warning has been issued to anyone planning a trip to Spain after an emergency was declared due to a severe water shortage in Tenerife. The popular holiday destination is facing a drought, which could impact those looking forward to a Spanish getaway. The emergency was announced by the Tenerife Island Water Council as tourist numbers continue to surge. This decision was made after the government intervened, aiming to cut down unnecessary water use on the island. Urgent work will now be carried out and a campaign launched to encourage people to conserve water. This comes after Tenerife experienced its hottest February since 1961, the Liverpool Echo reports. Politicians are pointing fingers at tourism for the water crisis, with one luxury hotel reportedly using up to 400 litres of water per guest each day, four times more than a local resident would typically use. Last year, the Canary Islands saw their second highest visitor numbers, welcoming over 14 million tourists. Despite having a population of just under 1 million, Tenerife alone welcomed 5. 6 million visitors, and it seems this number is set to rise even further. Juan Rumu, from the Canary Islands Business Association of Environmental Consultants, expressed concerns that the situation could worsen due to increasing population and tourism on the island, reports www. El Diario.es.ales. Luis Javier Gonzalez, the mayor of Fasnia in Tenerife, has issued a stark warning, if we continue to bet on the massive arrival of tourism and the scarcity of water resources is maintained, the situation will be more complex. Fasnia's town council has become the first to announce restrictions due to water scarcity. These include banning the use of drinking water for watering farms and gardens, filling swimming pools, tanks, ponds or reservoirs. Washing vehicles, cleaning house fronts and beach showers are also not allowed. Mr. Gonzalez highlighted that water is being diverted to the south because there is more consumption there due to the presence of tourists. Earlier this month, Tenerife Weekly reported that the full assembly of the Cabildo of Tenerife was given the green light, declaring a water crisis on the island. This means necessary steps would be introduced following an exceptional and prolonged drought in the central regions. According to the Express, experts have said that too many tourists are putting a lot of pressure on the Canary Islands and its infrastructure, which can't keep up. They warned that if the huge number of tourists who visit the Canaries doesn't go down, it could lead to a systemic collapse. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.